Excellence Minister of Education and Vocational Training, Excellence Members of the Government, Mr. Breve of the Arthur Region, Mr. President of the Arthur Regional Council, Mr. Secretary General of Minister of Education and Vocational Training, ladies and gentlemen, directors, general and directors, dear teachers, dear students, honorable guests, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. To introduce myself, my name is Mohammed Abdul Omar from Al Adir Refugee Camp. It has been a long journey. After so many years of hard work, we eventually did it. I am proud to be here today on behalf of the class 2021 Nelson Mandela High School in Al Ade at this graduation ceremony. Before I commence my speech, I would like to recommend each, I would like to remind each one of you that this this event is still very special to the refugee community living and born in Djibouti. This certificate means a lot to us, is a key to our, our future. Excellence, ladies and gentlemen. The Minister of National Education has not only educated us, but also has instilled us to love one another, to love each other, to be united, to be patient, to be polite, and to be good citizens. For us, school has been the place of opening our minds and opportunity. For that, to the Minister of National Education, Excellence, Mr. Mustafa Mohammed Mahmoud, for bringing us a quality curriculum which is based on the culture of, different, of, our diff, of different countries of origin of that of Djibouti. <laughs> Thanks. On behalf of the students and parents of Rivuchi, I say thank you very much for your hard work. And I urge you to keep up your efforts and hard work helping the Rivuchi. To families and friends, to their support, to our parents who enabled us to stand here. Without them, I wouldn't have been here. To our teachers and heads of school who have worked tirelessly and the devotion, we say thank you. I would like to convey warm greeting to the President of Djibouti for His Excellency, President Ismail Mergele. Who, who allowed us to live in peace, have access to social service, health, and giving us education, and join, allowing us to join the university to realize our future goals. Certainly, Excellence, President, without you, our dreams wouldn't have come true. May God grant you long life. We say thank you. I would also like to say a few words about my few graduate siblings. We are the flowers of the country. We have just finished high school. We have not finished everything in life. We have long life to go. We have long, we have long time, long way to go. Some of you will go to university. Others will go straight for your tasks. No matter where we go and what we do, there is a challenge ahead of us. And I therefore urge and I recommend each one of you, including myself, to meet and face those challenges and have our heads up, held high, and face them with endurance and patience. I'm advising you to continue your education wherever you are. Our Prophet, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him. Please, would you send the blessing of Allah be upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says that seek the knowledge from the cradle till the grave. He's encouraging us to continue learning from the day we, uh, we came from our wondrous wombs to the day we are going to die. He's, t he's showing us a character which is that education never comes to end. Never stop learning because life doesn't stop teaching. I include my speech to thank my parents, especially my mother, who is responsible for my success. Without her, I wouldn't have been here. Without her, I wouldn't have stand in front of you. Without her, I wouldn't have come to exist in this world. <laughs> she, 
She made a lot of sacrifice for me. She dedicated all her life. She helps me. She advises me. She tells me everything good. She tells me that everything is based on education. Without education, life will be very difficult. There is an English statement which says, and every successful man is behind a woman. And I came to realize that after my mother came and helped me every circumstance of my life. In addition to that, I, will, I, I advise to my brothers and sisters whom we have left behind to continue learning and never stop and I'd never give up. You can't see what's outside without opening the door or without opening the window. So you also can't see what's ahead of you unless you, unless you try and try. I would say to you, try harder and harder. So brothers and sisters, this is not the end of your life. It's the end of the part of your life. If you see one chapter, it's not the end of the book. There is an interesting chapter to read. Please keep up and go ahead. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Merci. Il nous a fait un beau discours. On voit qu'il est submergé par l'émotion de la réussite, la joie. On le félicite. La formation professionnelle connaît ces dernières années un véritable essor. Pour preuve, les taux d'insertion professionnelle qui montent en flèche. Le lycée industriel et commercial est un pilier de la politique de formation professionnelle du MEFOP. Cher Monsieur Abdidjam Aege, si vous voulez bien nous rejoindre.